Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel here. We are checking out Lake. They have the new DLC Seasons Greeting as well that we'll be trying out as well. We haven't played this game. I know it says continue, but we wanted to make sure that all our settings were good. The audio is good and everything like that. But I think what we're going to do is I know Seasons Greeting is the new DLC that just came out. So I think we're going to start with Lake Classic first. We also are trying out a new camera. It's a 4K Ultra HD a Monotech camera. Uh, we're gonna see how that works out, but let's go ahead and uh, just jump on in Thank you again to the developers for giving me a key to try out this game. I'm super excited I've been I've got this game on my wish list, but no longer but I'm super excited I really love like lore story kind of kind of games So I guess we're gonna jump on in and see what it's all about. I have a I haven't watched gameplay So I guess we'll we'll see I'm super excited I'm a, I'm a big story kind of guy, so this this was probably up my alley here. Okay. Funny how a program designed to help organize your life. There's a reason I can't be at the Labor Day party. But I'm glad we made the deadline. And I'm glad I can now spend two stress-free weeks in good old Providence Oaks. Hello? There it is, Steve. Uh, hope I didn't wake you up. I just came home and was wondering if everything worked out all right. Hi, Steve. Yes, we made the deadline. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, I feel so bad you couldn't make it. Hope you guys had a nice Labor Day party. Oh, yes. I mean, the band was great and Mike fell in the pool. <laughs> oh, and then Roy got really sick. No, wait, Brian. And then he fell in the pool, too. And, no, Roy. Uh, wait, I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll tell you all about it at work tomorrow morning. Well, <laughs> afternoon. I, I won't be there for two weeks, remember? Oh, wait, yeah. But, uh, do you really have to? <laughs> two weeks is a lifetime. Yeah, Steve, I really have to. But I will continue testing for Addit. Oh, okay. Right. Awesome. Um, you know, I better get some sleep now. My plane leaves early in the morning. Okay, Meredith. Have a wonderful flight. I, I'll talk to you soon. All right. Talk soon, Steve. Providence Oaks, Oregon. Thanks September so much for 1st, 1986. Up, Mr. Coleman, please just call me Frank. We're colleagues now, after all. Oh, okay, Frank. Thanks so much for making time for me on Labor Day. No problem, Meredith. Postal workers always have each other's back. Your dad helped me dozens of times whenever I was in a bit of a pickle. Well, I hope I can fill his shoes. He hardly ever missed a day. I'm sure you'll do great. You know what? While we're en route, why don't we deliver some mail in our beautiful little lake town? And show me the ropes? Sure. All right then. Get ready to roll. All right. So we're taking after our dad's footsteps. It looks like. Yeah. Late. Good music so far. This lake. It's always more beautiful than I remember it. I don't think I'll ever get tired of driving around it. And there's our first stop. Okay, sir, what's the plan? Delivering mail is like a walk in the park with mailboxes. Take this bag, walk to the mailbox, and insert the mail. Boom, shouldn't be too hard, right? All right, walk to the mailbox, walk around, walk to the mailbox. Wow. All right. Deliver mail. Ooh. Interesting. We have one speed and one speed only. Get back in. Nothing Next. Too difficult, right? I think I should be able to face the challenge. Ha, I bet. Didn't you go to MIT? Yeah. I left here for Massachusetts uh, 22 years ago. Shouldn't you get a job in computers then? That's really booming right now. Well, actually, I'm... Uh... Hold that thought. We just arrived at our next address. It's a package this time, so you'll have to get it out of the back. All 
All right, let's go ahead and get our package. We're at 103 something. Oh, okay. Well, that's the only thing. 103 High Street. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Pretty heavy. Nice houses back here. This wouldn't be a bad spot, to be honest. Ding dong. <laughs> All right, I'll leave it on the doorstep. All right, on to the next one. A right. uh, whole shift to walk faster. I mean, that's not much faster than what we got, but I guess it's better than nothing. You're getting the hang of it. So, where were we? Computers. Should I buy one? Heck uh, yeah. Well, it depends on what you want to use it for. Video games. I always make a mess of my tax returns. Can't a computer do that for me? Sure, there are programs for that, but you'll still have to put in, in some work yourself. In 1986? I hmm. was afraid you were going to say that. I'll bug you about it another time. Our next address is right around the corner. Hmm. We are booking it. We're going to be done in no time. He got some help today. Ah, there's no place like home. Sure isn't. Can't wait to get home either. The Mets are playing the Giants. Oh, before I get out, what time do I start tomorrow? 7 a.m. sharp. Just check in at the post office. Do okay, I have to Frank. drive to the post office? Tomorrow. I would assume. Adios. All right. Later, Frank. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, speed walk to the front door. Oh, it's our parents' house. Okay. So we came to visit our parents. Weiss residence. Monday afternoon. Just wanted to let you know that Dad and I landed safely. <sighs> the Florida weather is all they said it would be. I'll call again soon. Oh, oh, one more thing. The freezer's stuffed with food and there's blueberry pie in the fridge. Bye. Meredith, it's Dean. I didn't get the chance to say it earlier, but thanks so much for being a trooper. I know you had other plans for Labor Day weekend, but nailing the deadline for added 87 could very well be the most important milestone in our company's history. Enjoy your well-deserved time off. Don't get too used to it. Just kidding. Or am I? Uh, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, this Steve guy is all up my ass, ain't he? <laughs> He's like, Meredith. Tuesday, September 2nd. Good morning, morning. Meredith. Ready for your first day? I guess. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. Good morning, Frank. Ready to rock. It's a great day to be on the road. I already filled up the mailbag in the truck, so you're good to go. Oh, I forgot to tell you. There's a map in the cabin in case you get lost. <laughs> Thanks. I'll probably need that. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Thanks, Frank, for loading the truck for us. All right. Let's do it. Let's deliver some packages. Let's deliver some mail, I'm going to assume. M to open up the map. Okay. So we got four parcels to deliver and three letters. Not too far. Deliveries are pretty close. So we can place waypoint, zoom in, delivery list. Nice. All right. Well, what would be our best bet? So I think we're going to go down here. We're going to go over to 500 Lake Road and then come back and hit 102, 200 and 300 Lake Road. Go ahead and uh, hit these. The general store. We're on Main Street here. We got a package to deliver. We're on Main Street. That's Lake Road. Lake Road. I'm going to say it's 207 Main Street. Oh, that's heavier than I thought. Is there like any like numbers on here so i know where i'm going but all right, we're gonna just say all right here you go Can here's I your package you? hello here's today's mail right. new and down your face looks familiar well i grew up here and then left for college 22 years ago <sighs> 22 years ago back when they called me nancy sinatra instead of nancy reagan oh <laughs> so now you're back huh i know what it's like you do? It's best not to feel bad about it. Only a few people ever really make it. 
I wonder if it's gonna rain today. It's been raining a lot lately. Hmm. All right, Nancy. We'll see you. Have a good day. All right, next delivery here. Let's go ahead and enter the truck. We got our first house here. 103 Main Street. I remember this as the old Sugarman place, but the envelope says McGill. Must have moved away. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. What is this? Hmm. Did I miss something? Oh, wait. Okay. So we got three parcels in an envelope in one bear creek. Oh my gosh. It's like way over there. Okay. Well, I didn't even see that, but let's go ahead and take Actually, a left I'm here. Enjoying this. 40 miles an hour. I don't look like there's any speed limits needed here. So we're just going to cruise on down. The controls aren't too bad so far. I did see that deer. We're going to have to do some exploring for sure. Check these off roads here. So I wonder if there's like collectibles or anything. All right. So we got Moe's diner. Checking left, checking right. Go ahead and there stands diner. Wait, it's called Moe's diner now. Go ahead and uh, we're gonna go ahead and back in here. All right, we're at 500 Lake Road. Let's go ahead and deliver this package, or I should say, parcel. We're at 500 Lake Road. That's a big box. If she doesn't say that's heavy, I don't know what is. All right, not heavy. So Moe's Diner. Hmm. Meredith Wise? As I live and breathe. <laughs> Come here, hon. Uh, now, let me look at you. My, oh my. A few lines here and there. And the occasional gray hair. But by gosh, it's you, all right. Well, hello to you too, Maureen. Oh, don't be like that now. It suits you. <laughs> Age only makes a person more distinguished, is what I always say. To the mirror. Now come here. Tell me everything. Okay, okay. one drink. One quick drink then. I know you're busy, huh? Little bird told me all about your temporary mail job already. News goes around pretty quickly around here. So, coffee? Something stronger? Of me, I will not take no for an answer. Coffee sounds coffee good. Sounds good. Thanks. Two coffee coming right up, and one piece of blueberry pie, if I remember correctly. You had one almost every afternoon after school at one point. Oh, you know me too well, Maureen. Always have, always will. Ashley, one blueberry pie. All right. <laughs> And Ashley, uh, could you keep an eye on the bar for me for a bit? I'm going to take my break now. You're a real trooper. Oh. Ashley? Oh, sweet Mary. What are you doing? Uh, is everything okay, hon? Oh, Lord have mercy. <laughs> Maybe you should check that out. Honestly! First the roof and now this? Ugh, that poor kid is like a disaster magnet. I'm sorry, Meredith. Looks like I've got my hands full for a bit. Next That's time, right. I want to hear everything, you hear? Uh, don't be a stranger now. All right, Maureen, we'll be back. Don't you worry. Kind of works out. We got a long drive today on this route. Go ahead and head back across the lake. All right, let's see. So I think we're going to drive around this way. We're going to drive around this way. Go all the way around, get up to one Bear Creek. Head here, head here, and then we can head on back to the post office. So a quick loop. Skip and a hop. All right. 
go ahead and head on down to Bear Creek. That'd be cool to live somewhere like this where you had like a lake, everybody knows each other, everyone's kind of just chilling. That's some nice land in a house and a barn out there. These graphics are really nice as well. I like games like this. Make sure y'all check this game out on Steam. Check out the new DLC as well, too. Got really good reviews. All right, let's see here. Is there like an inside view, maybe? I wonder. Oh, what do we got here? We got like a dam? Think our Spanner Dam was just as big and famous as Hoover Dam. Huh. Then I visited Hoover Dam. And then you were like, you know... The Hoover Dam is obviously way better. Must be a hotel truck driver here. We got the Oregon Trail Motel. Roads are nice and windy. All right. Never thought I'd be a mail person, but here we are. Not too bad so far. How far are we looking? Not too bad. Oh, was that not on the map before? I think more points of interest will be added. I just wasn't paying attention. Maybe it was on the map, the motel. Falling rocks. Oh, a tunnel. Oh, missed opportunity. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but every time we go through a tunnel, you got to honk. All right, our stop is coming up here. We got to take a left. Bear Creek. We're on West Lake, uh, West Lake Road. Let me think. Where was Bear Creek again? Whoa, we got some drifts going on. Oh, a covered bridge. Whoa. Oh, right. Bear Creek near the old lumber yard. Right. Not too much here. Always like to have a, a way to get around. Okay, guess we're getting out. Didn't want us to turn around. Oh, there's a new face. A rare sight for a secluded lumberjack. <laughs> yeah, last time I saw a human being was about mm, six years ago. <laughs> I am here to deliver mail and I come in peace. I'm Meredith. Thank you. I'm Robert. I hope hey, Robert. peace will be everlasting. Let's see what's inside. Is it a bill? Oh, what the? That doesn't sound good. Crap. That's what it sounds like. Bull crap. Freshly baked bull crap. Hey, the sound can't be worse than the smell. I'm sorry, but I have to take a better look at this. Have a nice day. All right, Robert. Have a good one, man. Sorry about the mail. I don't like delivering bad news, but you got to do it sometimes. We'll be back, Robert. Don't worry. All right. Get on out of here. I don't know if we're meant to be off-road, but... Yeah, there's new points of interest on the map every time. It seems like I want to pass them. All right, so that must be the sign for like Bear Creek down here on like the mini map on the bigger map. Woo! All right, go ahead and head on to the next stop here. It's not a bad first day. Beautiful weather. All right, we got a parcel coming up. All right, well, this was our first delivery uh, for mail last time. We're at 300 Lake Road. Wait, where's the package? Oh, uh, I was just going to try to talk to her, to be honest. 300 Lake Road. Oh, let's pick it up. We got a teddy bear left. All right, so it is to her. Hi there. there you go. I've got some mail for this address. You're not Frank. 
Luckily, I don't think a mustache would suit me. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> real funny. <laughs> but that doesn't explain why Frank gave you the keys for the goose. The goose? Yes, your white and wobbly van, duh. I'm Lori, I'm Providence Oaks. Alright, Lori. And I'm the one who keeps the goose running. Well, Thomas is my father. Does that count? Thomas! Yes, that surely counts. My father has been teaching me since the day I was born. There is no one better in PL than me. And I have to get back to work now. But I suppose you may drive the goose. On one condition. What's that? If there's ever anything wrong with it, you bring it back to me, yes? Alright, alright. Alright, alright, I promise. Good! Perfect. Uh, did Frank tell you about the radio? Nope. No. It currently only receives the local station. Plus, sometimes it cuts out altogether. If that happens, just give it a big old bang on the dashboard and that should fix it right up. I'm working on it, I promise. Okay. All right. Thanks, Lori. No problem, Miss W. Miss W. All right. Go ahead and deliver some more mail. Head on out. No cars coming. Let's go. Oh, talk with the radio R. In a few days, I won't even need that map. Hmm. All right. Sorry, not sorry. All right, 200 Lake Road. We got this parcel here. Oh, cool. You can still hear it from inside or outside. Well, hello, hello kitty. there, big cuddly guy. Hello, kitty. Couple kitties. Bing bong. Oh, look, oh. Genevieve, a new mailman. Hello there. What's your name then? Hi, Miss Jenkins, right? I'm Meredith. Meredith Weiss? Weiss, of course. You're Emily's girl, aren't you? This is <laughs> Meryl Weiss, Genevieve. She used to live in town years and years ago. 22 years to be exact, but who's counting? <laughs> Has it been that long? That's almost oh, two Genevieve's ago. <laughs> Calm down, Genevieve. You're going to live forever. She isn't, but she... Uh. You do remember me, don't you? I mean, I said your name. How could I forget Miss Mildred Jenkins? And her cats, of course. Seems like they've multiplied. Yes, I do like cats. Is that such a crime? Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what if Chill. I had slightly more of them than I used to? Like Genevieve here, and Thomas, and Oliver. Anyway, did you have a package for me then? Yep, got it right in my hand. Yes, ma'am. I think it's a toy bear. I mean, it's shaped like one and feels plushy. Someone must think you need another animal in your life. Bit of a nosy posy, aren't you? Whoa, Miss Jenkins! Know Frank would never feel up the packages. Oh, I kind of want to be mean. I All mean, right. I have to take it out of the van, and I have eyes. Hmm. Well, it's probably another gift from my son. Still doing everything to get into my good graces, except actually drop by. I'm sure he means well. He's probably just busy. Hmm. That's what he says. That's probably what you say to poor Yo, Emily. Yo, Jenkins! Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Run along, dear. Give Emily my best. Goodbye, Miss Jenkins. Yo, Miss Jenkins. Genevieve. We gonna have problems, Miss Jenkins. <laughs> Can we pet any of the cats? Nope. All right. Okay, we can keep the music on. Why not? Alright. 
All right, 102 Lake Road. Let's go ahead and deliver. That's the last of them. That's the last of them. Let's go ahead and head on back to the post office for the day. All right. Ah, the mighty Ambrose River. All right, let's go ahead and uh, head on back here. Not too many cars driving around, but I mean, it's not like a big, big town. Just a bunch of people that know each other. They're pushing each other. Oh, oh, never mind. He disappeared. Oh, it's my turn here. Hey, you know what? We'll just back in. It's all good. All right, let's go ahead and uh, back bad boy in here. And thanks, Frank, for letting us use it for the day. Wasn't too bad. Wise residence, Tuesday evening. Must be mom and dad. Our Steve. Hello. Hi, Meredith. Okay. It's mom. How are you? How's the job? Hi, mom. I'm doing great. It's so relaxing to be outside and drive around. Oh, that's great to hear. Dad says it's strange not having to drive the truck anymore. Must be strange for you as well. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great. I'm reading lots of books in the sun. I also went on a beach walk and I saw baby turtles hatch. Oh, That'd be nice. I'm almost out of coins. I'm calling from a bar and dad's ordering a margarita again. <laughs> Talk soon. Having a good time in Florida. Uh, let's see. We'll stay home and uh, watch TV. Hmm. Let's see what's on TV tonight. Previously on Bon Appetit. Has anyone seen Henri? Yeah, he's in the kitchen. Unpacking the new tableware. Henri! Henri! Did someone call me? <laughs> Dang, I wish we could see the TV, but it's like perfect. There's probably really nothing playing, but the immersion. The immersion is there. Wednesday, September 3rd morning. All right, so we got, uh, let's see, Wednesday the 3rd. Perfect. Got it. Open it up. Oh, wow. We got a lot of deliveries today. So this is the East Crossroads. This is the South Crossroads. Woods service station. We got mail. Got anything else? I just want to make sure I'm not missing nothing. All right, so we got a lot of mail in the town. We got a package way down here. Hmm. Autopilot. We're not going to do that. All right, let's go ahead and uh, just get rocking and rolling here. We got 207, 205. We got a parcel, a couple parcels, and some mail. Huh. All right. So let's go ahead and get started here. 7 a.m. sharp. Good morning, Providence Oaks. We're starting the day as we always do with a PO positive or pet feed. Followed by the weather. P.O. Positive or pet pee? Dale, what's it gonna be? It's a positive all the way, Jack. I went to Moe's Diner yesterday, and I don't think I've ever had blueberry pie that tasted so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Thank you much, Dale. That makes me want to get a piece right now. Is that it? Or is it gonna restart when I get in the back in the truck hmm same handwriting as the one I delivered next door I'm guessing party invitations hmm that would be something you look at the mail and you're like Ooh. all right let's continue on here not too bad beautiful morning out no rain thankfully maybe we're jinxing ourselves but who knows All right, we're going uh, to the flick track. Right, let's go ahead. We're at 351 Main Street. 351 Main Street. 
351 Main Street. Boom. Is that one heavy? No? All right. The Flick Shack. Hmm. Got Blockbuster. What is that? Pretty Lilic called me up. Welcome to the Flick Shack. How can I help you? Got a delivery. Got a package for you, ma'am. The beef. Hold on, you're our new postal worker? Talk about not looking the part. <laughs> I could say the same thing about you. You could, but you'd be wrong. I look exactly <laughs> like I own a video rental place. If you were looking to cast a movie and needed someone to play the owner of a video rental place, you'd attach a picture of me to the call sheet. Oh, okay. <laughs> True enough. I'm Meredith, by the way. Meredith Weiss. Angie Eastman. So, what brings you to Providence Oaks? Oh, grew up here, and now I'm back to do my dad a favor. Ah, I myself have been here for six years. Hmm. And what brings you here? Didn't grow up here, came to do myself a favor. I mean, it doesn't look Did like a bad, bad area. Miss. So, your dream was to rent out videotapes? Ghost Not blasters. A dream, per se. More like back vision. to the present. <laughs> <laughs> Figured in a sleepy town like this, people don't have much to do anyways. Might as well watch a flick, right? Well, other than enjoy the scenery. Scenery schmeery. Why stare at a boring lake when you can go to outer space and watch the Death Star get blown up? I mean, mm -hmm. you're not wrong. Maybe I should watch more movies. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Eastman. Uh, call me Angie. And here, someone just returned this, and it should be right up your alley. The postman always rings twice? <laughs> My kind of humor. Well, I don't know anything else about you, Mrs. Temporary Postal Worker. <laughs> <laughs> Miss. But touche, Angie. All right. I'll check it out if I have the time. Take your time. This isn't exactly the most popular flick in the shack. And there's plenty of choice, regardless. Okay. Well, it was nice meeting you, Miss Angie. Same here, Miss Meredith. Very specific, Miss. Alright. So there is quite a bit of movies. Half price. What do we got here? Sapiens? The Friendly Dead? Kung Fu Kid? The Gremlins, Repo Woman, LGM, which is ET, it looks like. <laughs> huh. All right. Got a couple more to deliver here in town, and then we got to head on out around the lake. All right, let's go. Get to it. All right. We're just going to park right here next to the mailbox, 104 East 3rd Street. Let's go ahead and deliver this mail. Very nice house. This wouldn't be a bad spot. It's like right in town. I like being right in the town. All right, 402 Pine Street. Let's go ahead and uh, get some packages here. 402 Pine Street. Boom. That's lighter than I thought. Oh, that's lighter than you thought. Mm, interesting. All right, ring the doorbell. Let's see if they're home. Ding dong. Oh, they're home. Commander Grace, we have established communication with ground control. How do you wish to proceed? Tell them we've landed the rocket. Ground control, <laughs> we have landed the rocket. We will now begin our experiments. Um, package for the Evans family? Just a minute. Commander Grace, permission to explore? Permission granted. How cute. Yep. We're the Evans family. Could I just take that real quick? I'm kind of in the middle of a lunar landing. Sure. Here you go. <laughs> nice helmet, by the way. Why, thank you. I actually modeled it on the Apollo 11 crew outfit. Wait, what? Meredith? Buzz Aldrin? Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Who are you? What? For real? Y you don't recognize your old best friend when you see her? Wait oh. a minute. Kay? 
great. And now I busted my colander. I knew opening the door in this thing was a bad idea. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize you with the colander thing. The helmet. Yeah, clearly. But it seems I'm not the only one who came in disguise. Got What's me that there. mean? Everyone's calling me old. You've lived in Providence Oaks all this time? Don't sound so surprised. But yes, I married Barry. Evans, I'm sure you remember our high school star quarterback. Mom! Be right there, Commander Grace. Scanning for alien life forms. That's my little scientist back there. She's crazy about space travel, as you may have guessed. Even after the whole Challenger thing. Sounds like you're doing great. Sounds like you're doing great. I'm happy for you. Well, obviously a lot can happen in 22 years. So. Yep, time flies. Time flies. So, I heard you were back in town for a while. From Maureen. That's right. I ran into her yesterday at the diner. The kitchen caught fire, so your Uncle Stan is going to have a field day. Nope. It's Moe's diner now. Like I said, a lot of things happened while you were away. Also, I work there now. At the diner. Hmm. That's great. Maybe I'll drop by sometime. Yeah, we'll see. Ready for a liftoff! Listen, I'm sorry, but I don't really have time for this right now. Can't get stuck on the moon on my own, and I have to get ready for work. See you around, Em. <laughs> Good to see you, Kay. Evans! <laughs> Commander Grace, hold up! You'll never guess what I just found. You can say that again. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. All right, Kay. Good to see you. Good to see you. All right, now let's head on down to uh, 100 New Street, 200 Lake. Right, let's roll out. Get moving. Man, it's super nice in this area for sure. I really like that that uh scene back there now, this thing can really drift you saw that <laughs> all right get on the sidewalk more this is a very relaxing calming we're just jaywalking yet. Yeah, no cops around this part of town for sure. I'm gonna just California roll the stop sign. There we go. All right. So it looks like the speed changes automatically. So like in town, I drive slow out here on the main road. I'm going pretty fast. But we got three deliveries for mail here. All right. Let's, uh, boom. Go ahead and deliver some mail here. Hey, mom and dad have new neighbors. Ziegler, huh? Don't think they ever mentioned them. The Zieglers. Who lives next door, huh? Can we do like random things while we're working? Like, can I go to the diner? Like, take a stop at the diner, see what's up? Hmm. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is. We're gonna turn around. Two oh three. Here's your Walnut mail. Drive. Here's your mail. All right. Put it back on. We'll just back up a little bit. Back up into this driveway. There we go. We really know how to drive this thing for sure. As I said that. <laughs> All right. Back onto the main road. Oh no, cat lady. Hello, you got more mail. Here's your mail. Meryl, dear, so glad you could come by. Yeah, oh, Miss Jenkins, are you sure? Emergency. What's wrong, Miss Jenkins? It's poor little Mortimer. Oh. He's fallen ill, I think. One minute he was full of life, the next he, well, he just wasn't. 
I mean, I'm not a vet, but he looks fine to me. Well, fact is, you're not a vet, are you? Do you know who knows about animals, though? It's <laughs> Mr. Mackey. He runs the old bait shop by the lake. Could you take Mortimer to him? Nope. I'm sorry, but I don't think I can do that. Driving around living creatures is a little above my pay grade. Hmm. I suppose rules are rules. But can you make an exception for poor little Mortimer? Poor Mortimer? little Mortimer. <laughs> oh, man. I really just want to say no. But for the lore, all right, all right. All right. Here, little kitty. You know, Miss Jenkins, oh. I don't like you, but, you know, animals and Wonderful. animals. Wonderful. Be nice to Meredith Mortimer. Don't shed too much hair in her van now. Bye, Miss Jenkins. All right, Bye, Mortimer. Meredith. See you soon, Mortimer. All right, Mortimer, get in. We got a, we got it. One more delivery to make, and then we go to the uh, Mr. Mackey. So it kind of works out that we went this way. I really hope this van doesn't break down. What's up, girl? How you doing, beep beep? All right, on to the next package. All right, we made it to our next delivery here to the hotel. Let's go ahead and uh, drop this package off. Can we put the cat back, please? All right, let's pick that up. Cat's in the back. It'll be all right. All right, let's see who runs the hotel. Oh, he's playing a video game. Hello, sir. Parcel for you. He's playing Galica. Um, I hope I'm not disturbing, but here's a parcel for you. One minute. I'm busy. If you could just accept the parcel and let me be on my way. Is that a parcel for me? Bro, I just said yes. Oh. <laughs> no, it's for Bigfoot. You can just put it on the counter. All right. Have a nice day. All right, bruh. All right. Playing video games. That's funny. I mean, I guess if you're not doing nothing else, why not? All right, cat. Boom! Look at that. What we got going on here? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that was almost bad, to be honest. I don't know what happens when you crash, but I don't want to find out quite yet. Hmm. 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 Gonna use my witchcraft. That is so cool, the dam. All right. Onwards to the vet now. Hmm, I should have took that side road there just to kind of see what happens. It's just a little dirt road, to be honest. We'll go exploring soon, though. There's 10 achievements for this game, and they're hidden achievements. So we'll have to really see what's going on. Ooh, this thing don't want to turn, I'll tell you that. Alright, passing Moe's Diner. We'll probably stop by Moe's Diner like next episode for sure. Start getting a little more lore. Alright, we're almost there. Take a left up here and we're at the vet. Or maybe it's not the vet. Maybe it's just some guy. All right. We're just going to park like this, to be honest. All right. Oh, well, I guess I need to grab the cat. Grab the kitty. All right. Don't give me a hard time now. All right. Mackie's bait tackle boat and rentals closed. 
Well, you're about to be open. You got a cat to save. All right, not there. That's not where we're going. That's not where we're going. Guess we're going around the back. Hmm. This isn't too bad. Can we rent a boat? That'd be sick. Mr. Mackey? Mr. Mackey. I know you're closed, but... What? I'm Meredith Weiss. Yeah, yeah. Meredith Weiss. Thomas kid. Mm. I remember you running around the lake when you were yay high, getting into all sorts of trouble. What can I do you for? Mildred Jenkins tells me you know a lot about animals, and, well... <laughs> oh, hi there, little fellow. What's your name? Apparently it's Mortimer. Oh, pleased to meet you, Mort. Hmm, he's a little sluggish. Has Millie been feeding him cupcakes again? Uh-oh. Sure she has. I'm sure she has. <sighs> Leave him with me. I'll put him on a diet today. Maybe even catch him a fish if they're biting. With any luck, he should be up and running in the morning. Thank you, sir. By the way, how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine. You go back to running around that lake, Miss Weiss. Okay. Bye, Mr. Mackey. Bye, Mortimer. I don't think she, the cat likes me. I don't think the cat likes me at all. All right, let's go ahead and return to the post office. Mr. Mack don't like us. That'd be cool if we could run a boat, though. Maybe one day when he's open. I wish we could actually like run run. This is like a we're like a speed walking contest here. We're walking without bending our knees. We're running. All right. Let's go ahead and get back in the truck. Let's get back to the post office. All right, let's go. Not too bad of a day. Watch the postman always rings twice. Okay. So it wants us to watch that. So I guess we'll watch that when we get off work. Go ahead and keep running here. All right. It's a nice little area for sure. All right. Almost back to the post office. Wasn't too bad of a day. We're back. Back her into our spot. Call it good. Oh, hit the back. Yikes. Wise residence. Wednesday evening. Probably mom. Or is it Steve? There it is. Hi. Oh, hi, Steve. How are you? <laughs> Busy as two peas. Added 87 is really getting there. Hey, listen, you've got plenty of time, right? No. I guess, but that's nice for a change. Awesome, I need a favor. Oh. I said a bunch of files your way. It's the retail pitch for added 87. It's good, but not great. It needs your magic. Okay. Do you think you can add it? Huh? <laughs> uh, I'm not sure. How many pages are we talking about here? It's not much. It's just the pitch, and there's also an instruction booklet. Can't be more than 100 pages. Mm. I could just send it to your post office, right? Uh, I guess. I guess. Awesome. Mail back to me as soon as possible. Priority mail. Thanks so much. Oh, I gotta run. Okay, Steve. Oh, one final thing. Now let this marinate. <clears throat> add it, 87. Add anything you like. It's fancy, right? Yeah, don't, don't tell me now. Uh, I got a jet. Bye. All right, Steve is just using us at this point. All right, let's watch the postman. Let's watch this. Thursday, September 4th morning. Oh, Steve's parcel and a note from Tess. Hey, Em, hope you're doing well. Steve told me you'd want to read through this monstrosity. Not sure if you really said that, but have a great time there anyways. Take care. Tess. All right. Take care, Tess. All right. 
Wow. Seems like there's quite a bit of deliveries, not too many to be honest. But anyways, I think that's where we're going to end this episode and we'll continue on, of course, from Postal Servants, Providence, Oaks. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode. We will continue it. We're also going to play Season's Greetings. I just want to play the first half first so I know where the DLC is at um, and coming from. So I'm not kind of behind on story. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you on the next one. Peace.